How would you like to know how to find good managers? How would you like to stop that revolving door when you take a great employee and make them your worst when you become a manager? Or hiring from outside your four walls and they fail to a point where you say, if you want it done right, I might as well do it myself. I'm gonna share with you how to fix that in just one second. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I feel your pain, man. I've been that guy who's taken my best employee and made him my worst. As soon as I anoint them a manager, they become a god, right? They no longer want to work on the boss. Or they don't want to, they gain no respect because they're still out drinking with the other employees. They won't hold people accountable. They end up doing their jobs and they burn out and fail. I've been that guy who's taken a chain manager, brought him in, say, hey, hallelujah, you've come with experience. But when there wasn't enough structure above that person, they fail. And you finally get to a the point, there's gotta be a better way. I've got that way for you. I'm gonna share it with you right now. This is what I want you to do. I want you to allow your employees to audition to become a manager. How do they do that? You're gonna post in your server alley or in your employee, your employee bulletin board special projects. Anybody wants to do a special project, come find me. Now don't be selective, auto-selective. Let people apply, whether they're, you think your worst employee or your best. Because sometimes that worst employee is that class clown. You know, the kid that always in middle school got all the attention to them, and we thought, man, I'm gonna kill this kid. Well, the truth of the matter was, they're often the smartest people in the room, but they were bored. You may have some class clowns. Allow anybody to apply, even your best, again, even your worst. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna train you on this special project. You got checklists to be done, training systems, recipe costing cards, you've got dollars per labor hour, you've got all these numbers that have to be analyzed, lots and lots of stuff to do. So I'm gonna train you on it, I'm gonna make sure you do it, I'm gonna help you be successful, and by the time you finish that project, I'm gonna know whether you're somebody that could be a manager on my team. You may be horrible at it, right? You're not a self-starter, you can't be self-managed, self uh, you don't work well completing tasks. Hey man, thanks so much for your help. Move them back to no more special projects. I don't piss anybody off, I didn't bruise anybody's ego. Another person may have done a great job, I'm like, hey man, have you thought about becoming a manager? A manager in training, maybe one, two days a week, plain clothes, work a shift, I'll pay you more hour per hour, and they're like, no freaking way, I don't want that. Okay, move them on. Somebody else, you're gonna say the same thing to them. They're like, yeah, two days a week? One, two days a week? Do I keep my tip shifts? Yeah, you keep your tip shifts. Well, fantastic, I'll do it. And now what I do is I train them to become what I call a manager in training. Oh, hourly supervisor, how to open and close a restaurant, count out a bar drawer, manage checklists, make sure the day-to-day -day tasks happen and the guests are taken care of. Well, if those people become managers in training, somebody's not gonna do a good job. They, they just haven't figured out how to supervise people. They don't have a great gene for reading tables and when to touch them, when not to. And I just kind of say, hey man, thanks for your help. I don't need the additional management right now, but from time to time, could I call on you to do that? And they're like, yeah. So now I got backup, a trained backup, but they're not a supervisor anymore. Now, of those people who did a great job, I'm like, hey man, do you thought about becoming a manager? And one's gonna go, no, I don't want to become a manager. No way in hell. But would you still do this one, two days a week? Yeah, I'll do that. Great, I've got a supervisor. Oh, and by the time, by, from time to time, like somebody goes on vacation, would you work five days? Yeah, I do that for you. Then you're gonna approach somebody else and they're like, yeah, man, I'd love to become a manager. The timing is right. Just had my first kid, I'm tired of walking the circle. I'd like to move up in my career, whatever it may be. And what happened is we allowed them to audition all the way through the process. We allowed them to self-identify who wants to become a manager. This is incredible because we get to select from within. These are people we know, know our company culture. They know us. And it makes it so much easier to train a great manager, find a great manager from within. This is super. You need to implement this today. Now, Make sure you do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now where I've got tips like this on a weekly basis. And in fact, if you do me one favor, if you'd like this video, if you found it useful, that'd be great. But I'd also like you to comment below. What are some of the ways you've used successfully to find managers? Because it's getting tougher out there. I feel your pain. I see it with hundreds of restaurants all over the country, in fact, the world, using our systems. I know what's going on with low employment and finding good people. So let, us, let me know. Let's make a community out of this and share. But before you go, do me a favor. Take a moment and click 
up in the upper corner there and request my special report. I've got a special report, the 10 lessons I've learned that any independent restaurant owner or manager must know to make more money. Get your life back. Have managers know their job. These lessons are universal and help you literally change how you view your, biz view your business and make money. Again, before you go, make sure you click on up in that corner and request my free report and subscribe now. If you hold on just another minute, I'm going to share with you more videos right after this one completes.